Hey everybody, today I'm going to be sharing some DIY home decor using twine. Let's get right into it. First off, you'll need some cylinder vases. I picked mine up at Dollar Tree and Dollarama. You'll need some pip berries along with some twine of your choice and some scissors and hot glue. So this particular twine is actually made from hemp and it's dyed. I love it. It comes in so many different colors. I'm going to start off by gluing one end to the vase and I'm going to start to wrap it around the vase. As you can see, I'm going up about three quarters of the way and I'm just adding a dab of glue here and there just to hold the twine into place. As you wrap the twine, you will want to push it down as we're creating a band. Once you have the desired width for your twine band, you can then add pip berries. Some ribbon would be really pretty as well, but I wanted an organic look, so I'm just adding a couple strings of the pip berries as shown. I'd like to welcome you all to Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. My name is Donna. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button along with the bell to keep up to date with everything I have to share. So I'm going in and adding a second strand of the pip berries. As, and as you can see, I'm offsetting that strand so that I've got berries going continuously throughout. And again, I'm just adding some hot glue and holding it till set. So this particular DIY has a set of three vases. I am going to show you them all together. So stay tuned for that. So for our next phase, I again am adding some glue and adding the twine and I'm going to wrap the twine all the way around my vase. Now, as you can see, I'm adding some dabs of hot glue here and there just to help hold the twine in place. And I'm just creating a random pattern. Now I'm adding the pip berries and I'm doing the same procedure as I did for the twine. So I wanted there to be a bit more twine and pip berries so I'm just going in and adding an extra layer. I just felt like it just needed a bit more to fill in some of those gaps. This is totally by choice, but I'm just really loving how this looks. It looks very, very organic. So I picked up these pip berries back last year in 2020 in the fall from Dollar Tree. So just keep your eye out from them for them from season to season. So for my third vase, I am going to be using this beautiful green burlap that I had in my stash. I'm just cutting out a strip. It's approximately two to three inches. Sorry, I didn't measure this piece. I just kind of randomly guessed the size that I would need. And then I start to fray the edges by pulling out some strands. Now, again, you could use some ribbon if you choose. Now I am just going to wrap it around the vase and then cut off any excess. Just making sure I have my frayed edges. Measuring where I want my placement adding some hot glue and then pushing the edge into that hot glue. I'm wrapping this piece around again and I'm folding over the one edge so then I know where to cut off the excess. This way here it will allow me to bud that one piece right up to, to the other and then I have a nice clean edge. So now I'm adding that really pretty green hemp twine that I have. Again, just adding a dab of hot glue and I'm going to randomly wrap it around the twine. And I will be doing the same with the pip berries and I will be layering both the twine and the berries a couple of times. Oh, 
So once you're done, you can put them all together. And here I have them displayed with some LED candles from Dollar Tree. You could also add some branches or flowers to these. I really love the organic natural feel of these vases. So today's video is part of the Twine It Up Challenge hosted by Fanny from Creations by Favi and her co-host is Sandra from The Schwowen's Nest DIY. I will have the links to both channels along with the playlist down in my video description below. Go check it out to see lots of inspiration. So for the next project, you're going to need a cleaned out soup can, some chalk paint in the desired color. I love a whisper from Deco Art. And then you're going to give your can approximately two to three coats of your chalk paint. Once you have the desired coverage, you can then add some twine. So this is another color of that hemp cord twine in this beautiful spring green. I'm just cutting off a long strand and now I'm going to wrap it around the tin. I'm just adding little dabs of glue here and there and I'm going to be creating a bit of a pattern. So the nice thing about wrapping this twine around the tin can is that there's natural grooves making it very easy to apply. But I didn't want the glue to be too bulky so I'm just adding dabs here and there. So once your middle section is filled, you can then go in and add some natural colored jute twine. And I am going to add a band at the top and the bottom as shown. You again could create any pattern and use any colors that you would like. So I am going to show you two ways on how to style this and the two different ways really show a different look. So you're going to need some stones or some floral foam and fill your tin. I am adding some beautiful Dollar Tree succulents and then I'm going in and adding the rocks in and around the stems that will help hold them in place. Like I said, you could use floral foam if you choose, but I just wanted to add some weight to my vase so it wouldn't topple over. Once you have your container filled, you can then add some reindeer moss. Now this is preserved reindeer moss. I got it from my local dollar store. I have seen some moss at Dollar Tree as well or craft stores. I love this reindeer moss. So I'm just adding it in around the stems. Again, that'll help hold it into place. And look how this looks. I think it has such a beautiful natural boho look. I absolutely love it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the second way of how you can style it. Again, I'm going to be using the stones and the moss. And here I have some stems from Dollar Tree. They are those flocked greenery bush. I love these, they're so, so beautiful. So I just cut them down and I'm going to place them inside. I end up using a total of two bushes and then I just place them inside. See the difference that this has? I love this as well. I think it looks so beautiful and fresh. Perfect for spring decor. So I have this strawberry basket for our next DIY along with some heavy duty jute twine. And this decorative jute twine, as you can see, it's got a bit of a cotton thread throughout. I am going to use the heavy duty jute twine and I am going to weave it in and around the top edge. And I'm just adding a touch of glue and then I'm going to thread the jute twine in around the top 
Rim of the Basket. This is a really great trash to treasure. I love to be able to use some items that are from our recycling bin or from the trash. So you're just gonna continue to weave your strand in and around until you have it fully covered. So now you can just again cut it off and add a dab of hot glue to finish it off and then you've got a really pretty finished edge of this strawberry basket. So now I'm using this decorative jute twine. I picked this up at my local dollar store and I'm just adding some dabs of hot glue onto the basket as shown and then I'm going to glue the twine onto this basket. Now I tried to weave this on but it just didn't quite work. So I decided to go this route and it did take me a while but I just sat down, played some YouTube and adhered this twine to this little basket and I really loved the results. So again I got this jute twine at a local dollar store. I have seen twine in all kinds of different colors. I've seen it at Michael's, at other craft stores, as well as dollar stores. So it is out there. So I'm just finishing up and then I am going to continue to wrap the basket with the twine. So I'm just adding a last row of my twine here and you just have to be careful. You want to make sure you've got full coverage because you don't want it to look like it's a little strawberry basket. So I'm just gonna trim it off and then add a touch of glue to make sure that my end doesn't fray. Now I am going to want to cover up the bottom of my basket. You could cover the inside as well if you choose, but. I won't find that to be necessary for what I'm doing. So I'm just using some brown cardstock and I'm just roughly measuring by, as you can see, I'm scoring it with my thumbnail and then I'm going to trim it down to size. Using some hot glue, I then add it to the bottom of the little basket. All right, so now it's time to fill our basket. I have this beautiful Spanish moss. I picked it up from Dollar Tree. You could use the reindeer moss as well. So I'm just gonna fill up my basket. Again, you could use some floral foam, but I'm choosing not to as I like to be able to take things apart and reuse them. I have an assortment of these hydrangea bushes that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I picked them up in the fall and the spring to get the variation of colors. I cut them down to size and then I'm just going to poke the stems into the moss. Again, you could use foam, but I just find it easier just to stick it into the moss and it's very easy to take it apart and reuse it for another project. Isn't this so pretty? You would never know that it was a little strawberry basket. As always, I would love to know which one of these projects was your favorite. I want to say a big thank you to Fanny and Sandra for hosting us all. I want to thank my fellow creators and I want to thank all of you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.